Hey guys, Ellen Woodbridge here, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator in Australia and wishing you a belated or a happy World Card Making Day because that was yesterday here in Australia but I know many of you watch me from um, in the Northern Hemisphere so it is still a World Card Making Day there and I had a lovely uh, event yesterday, a drop-in day um, and a bit of a sale with my customers. Hey Kathleen, hey Deborah. Um, and we played with Stampin' Blends and we made, let's see if I can put my hand on the card, which I can. We made this gorgeous card, which I've shared with you guys uh, previously. And uh, they had lots of fun playing, playing with the Stampin' Blends and some ladies um, even loved them so much that they bought some, which was great. And um, they were able to also grab some of my retired products, which was great. Hey, Deborah, thank you for joining. If you're popping in, please say hi. So the first part of this video, I'm not getting into making a card straight away. I've got a bit of a mini unboxing to do and a bit of a review of the new Stampin' Trimmer, which is available to demonstrators. Hey Alana, hey Viv, um, so hey Philomena, so that um, as part of making the card I'll be reviewing um, the trimmer because I think the best way how to show how to show a new product especially like a paper trimmer is to see it work and I have had um, I prepped that whole card um, on Friday when I got it hey Marjean um, hey Nicole oh hey Nicole great to see you oh sorry Kelly wrong wrong weeks girl that I'm talking to um so yeah the best way to review it is to show you how it works and I as I was saying I prepped the card so while I was prepping the card I was um using vellum cardstock whisper white pattern paper I cut it all except for glimmer and foil and um I'm really impressed really impressed but we do have something that's coming next month and it's called um, Christmas time and it's a suite of products that you can buy separately now I haven't bought everything um, it is and I tried to print out the flyer and I'm getting lots of gray boxes so I can show you some things but it features this amazing stamp set so this is two stamp sets and the first one is this line drawing and this is a rubber stamp set and then so they come together but it's two stamps in the set so you get one box with this rubber stamp and then all of these ones are photopolymer to layer in and this is called Christmas time so a bit of a spin a nice floral rose for Christmas and some great sentiments now I haven't bought this because I think even just looking at the stamps sells it so well it's such a lovely set and I have I love Christmas stamps. I say that very quietly, but that's okay. I know, I know. The trimmer is great, and I was very lucky that I was awake at midnight and was able to pre-order it at that time, and it arrived on Friday because this weekend in Australia is a long weekend. So anything that was shipped on Friday, people will only receive them on Tuesday at the earliest. So it's, I think, our Labor Day long weekend. And we've also gone into daylight saving this morning. So 
I need a few match sticks to keep my eyes open. Now, um, we do have dies that go with that stamp set. We do also have papers. Now, I got some of the embellishments and something totally left of centre, which I love. So, we, I got these gold glimmer dots. Is that what? Yes, gold glitter enamel dots. And they're actually quite translucent, which I really, really like. Now, I haven't even opened this ribbon yet, so I will grab a pair of scissors for some reason. Good evening, Miss Donna. And for some reason, I haven't opened it, but I can already see in opening this that this ribbon is beautiful and soft. It's called uh, one quarter inch gold trim, oh, shimmer ribbon. Let me get, it's a gold shimmer ribbon that's a quarter of an inch. And I bought these two particular products because I saw another demonstrator make an ornament. I can't get this open. I saw another demonstrator make an ornament. Um, and I normally make uh, gifts for my team and my friends and school teachers at the end of every year that are a Christmas ornament and this year I hadn't seen anything that uh, kind of tickled my fancy so I was just not going to make anything would you believe I'm <laughs> I'm having this much trouble I hadn't seen anything that tickled my fancy or thought of anything that wasn't overly complicated because I do make quite a number I need it to be fairly simple and then I saw this and the person's ID using the I do wonder now they used a different stamp set but I was going to use I think they used the floral essence stamp set so this is the gold shimmer you really can see the shimmer there and it's really, really soft. So I bought two packets of the gem of the enamel dots, two packets of the ribbon because I know how many I am going to make. Sorry, pulling them out of the way. Who else has popped on? Hey, Chris. And the other thing that we have, and I'm going to have to find the name of it sorry it comes in just a plain white box it's called the charming rose bracelet it comes in this gorgeous gorgeous gift box ready to chuck a ribbon around and give as a christmas gift hello susan and then it is i have already taken it out it comes beautifully presented in the box and let's see, I'm going to try and, yeah, right, right. So you've got these two charms. So you've got, mm, I'm trying to, so you've got this gorgeous rose charm and the Stampin' Up charm. And I will, it's very, very easy to put on because this, um, opens and closes and it just sits beautifully on your wrist hello Miss Kathy so it is very fine in comparison to my normal bracelet but it's um it's very comfortable and this in Australia this is going to be $38 which I think is a nice pricing for what it is and makes a lovely gift it's so pretty so pretty so Stampin Up aren't going to be going into making jewelry but they just thought this was a good time of year to offer something different now let's see if I can show you this in the box mm. It's not really wanting to focus on that charm. But hopefully you got a good enough look. So that's all I got from the Christmas time suite. But I guarantee you it's 
gorgeous and you guys are gonna love it hey miss kathy so i've got a bit of a chitter chat so i knocked over my bottles of oil because i have my diffuser going but thankfully they're closed bottles of oil okay now trimmer so the new trimmer is here and at some stage I will have to flick you guys around so we still have um, our two blades that go below the um, go below the guide um, on the trimmer so we don't need to take any of these out there is no storage on the back and it is quite thin and being quite thin it is quite light now I will tell you up front there is no release date yet for these as a demonstrator I have been able to purchase one if you would like to sign up as a demonstrator you can purchase one as well I do me just talking out of my bottom for a sec I do expect them to be available this by the end of this year or early next year to customers um, I think they don't want to go into a back order situation and they want to see how many demonstrators buy it and make sure they have enough stock that they can uh, keep up with the demand so we have a nice hole here so those of you with pegboards can hook it onto your wall I just happen to have a slot here above me that mine lives with so the width of it is six and a quarter inches wide or for those of us that are metric it's just over 16 centimeters now I'm going to see if I can yeah and this arm um, pops out is nice and sturdy and there is no there is no um lever to flick it up to make it sit flat it just sits flat so you have two rubber feet here and there is no um up and down movement so you will be getting accurate uh measurements and this sorry i'll go this way and then this just slots back in and locks. The only thing I have found, and do I have, I'll just grab a piece of cardstock here. And it's the only thing that is annoying me at this stage is that if I wanted to cut my paper and slide my piece off, I can't because of the lip on the end of this. So if I'm doing a lot of cutting, even though I don't need uh, this arm out, I'll just pop the arm up so then I can slide my paper off. Um, but this lip is here. Um, the measurements of the arm junction are really good. What I will do, I will open it back up again. It's very odd opening it not on the table. So, let me, hold on. I can't because, uh, just trying to get it in the light. There are... I don't know if you can see it. There are measurements on the bray, ground, brownie grey. Um, there are measurements on this side through there. So what I was saying to a demonstrator friend is you get to six and a half and you probably lose two eighths of an inch me me measurements at the arm junction. And us as metric users lose three millimeters at the arm junction. But we are given, yeah, it's pretty good compared to the old one. And the fact they have, um, they've cut into the plastic, the actual measurements on one side of the arm. On the other side of the arm, it's just a bit too thin to put the measurement so I can understand why they made that decision okay so the next thing is 
the now let me just see if I can open this so we have a very you can see it best up here we have a very thin channel which means there's little to no movement that's okay Viv there's little to no movement of your blade uh, because the track is so narrow and you can see here these grooves are the mechanical lock for as I knock myself in the glasses are the mechanical lock for the arm so it's best to open the arm close to this mechanical lock at the top or the bottom I can't do it now there we go and the other good thing and I'll show you here so these grooves actually create let me pop in this terracotta tile piece so if I put my paper up here I don't know if you can see them the um the the rises in those grooves actually create another barrier so if you're cutting very thin pieces across the junction where the uh, the track goes you've got you don't your paper won't shift doing those really little increments um, I found that very good when or terrible English but I found that fantastic uh, when I was um, cutting pattern paper and some cardstock I was left with little slithers at the end and uh, I found my paper didn't move so when you close I'll show you so I have closed that arm. Now, I'll do it so the blade's not in the way. Okay, so when I close this arm, that paper isn't moving. And you can see me jiggling this and the paper's barely moved. So it really does sandwich in the paper, which is great. Um, you're not really getting that movement. Hey Sue Allen, how are you? Um, which is fantastic. So it really does sandwich in the paper. So you, it does move, but that's because I've got it up and down, but you're not getting a lot of sliding. Um, I have found the cutting to be very smooth. Um, yeah, I know. Me too, Viv. Me too. I found the cutting to be very smooth. Um, and the scoring has... I'm not sure I understand. The scoring has a lot finer of a score line. So it's not... The score blade is not as um, bold. That's okay. This is these are just the things I've learnt so far. I haven't gone and tested things as such. I prepped for a class. That's all I've done. So through pre prepping for the class, I've worked out all these things and gone. Oh, I think I can do a bit of a, a bit of a review, Margin. So, yeah, I'm really well, thank you, So Much better than yesterday afternoon. I wasn't feeling fantabulous at all. Now, the, um, the cutting blades, your replacement cutting blades are going to be available in a four-pack refill pack. So, it's cutting blades multi-pack. Um, and they are... A touch like 25 cents per blade more expensive than our old blades so they are fairly um, would the plastic at the top on the opening lock make it easier uh, there is no plastic lock there's no slide lock like the other one uh, there is there is a lip I'll show you there is a lip here that you hold on piece of paper just fell so there is a lip I'm I'm still finding the best way for me to open it so there is a lip that you can pull there 
Um, I'm still playing, so yes, but there is no... Um, I'm not sure about that, Deb. No, I've had no furry edges and I cut normal whisper white. So I have cut normal whisper white. The one card stock, and I'm going to do it right now. The one card stock I'm always guaranteed to have furry edges is my basic black. So why don't I flick you guys around and you can see it in action. Ah, okay, Chris. Yeah, you've got that lip at the top, but with my hands... I'm not sure. Now, I am going to get you guys up on my second screen. And I'm also going to check on that multi-pack of... I'm going to get you guys up on my second screen. And you do not need to hear me. Right. I don't want to argue. Oh, that's very nice that my computer doesn't want to argue. Okay, right. Let's see if we can play again. And I'm just going to quickly get up the information. Sorry, just bear with me here about the blades. <sighs> Fingerprint. Log in. Of course, it takes much longer because I'm on screen chatting with you guys. Um, so let me check about these blades and what it says. It does not say whether it's demonstrator only, but it is a four pack and the blades feel so much sharper. I know, I know. Hello, Miss Shireen. Um, the blades cutting the paper feel sharper. They feel really good. But look, what I'll do, I'll flick you guys around and we can have a play. Okay, let me get back up my other screen here. Okay, right. I'll cover you up so no one gets seasick or as seasick. Okay. Because I've got a bit of warfare happening to the side here of me. Because I've got lots of cards to send for world card making. Uh, for world sent cards send week. Okay. So let me just see here. Let me go turn off my light. And we will see where we're sitting for... Right. Okay, I think we're good. And you can almost see all of the trimmer, which is great. So my only other bugbear, one is this lip here, which is needed when you open the arm. And because I normally do all my measuring at the bottom... We lose, we lose um, measurements earlier because the arm slides in. So I'm going to have to change the way I cut and use my longer measurements at the top. But that's a, that's a process thing. So the other thing I wanted to tell you, and you, you, oh, it is easier using the lip. Deb? Was it? No, Chris, you were asking. It is, but yeah, so you can use the lip or you can do it here. So, and that lip at the end is both sides. Okay, and you can hear it lock in. It's, it's great. So, yep, so, but there is no switch lock at, I'll show you, there is no switch lock at the top. Hello, Miss Peggy. Okay, so there is a film on these plastic bits, and I've got to find. I did have a. I've already taken the film off the arm. Okay, what I'm going to do though, I'm going to open this arm all the way, and let's see. If my, I've almost got it up 
here and do you know what will work really well? My take your pick tool will work beautifully just to hopefully, ha, huh, it's catching it. Maybe it's not. You've just got to work on the sides. And this will eventually bubble. You can leave it on. But I am one person who hates the film on. Because I'm not going to be able to get it off on screen, you know. It's like the film on our um, acetate sheets. You know it's there, but you've just got to get it started. So you've got one piece here, one piece here, and one piece on this side. So it's not... Yes, I think I've got enough now. Ha <laughs> ha. Success. So you can see here this film. And it is meant to come off. It is meant to protect it during um, during shipping and um, packing. just clean but I love the satisfaction of pulling it off yes I am really weird okay so I've taken I'll take this other side off later but let's grab some basic black cardstock here I just want to grab a piece that's not already a card front because I found the fibres in basic black Oop. and somehow my blade just popped off. There we go. There is a little groove here to pop your blades in and out. Okay, so I can still see that. No, 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 not at all, Margine. It is just um, packaging, which is great. So let's cut this down. It's already 10 centimetres wide. So let's just pop off the excess. And then this is a perfect card front to use. So <gasps> no furry edges. That is a super clean cut. Wow, that's pretty good. I'm really impressed with that. And unfortunately, I don't need any basic black for the card I'm going to make. So let me just pop that back up there. <laughs> yes, a lovely, lovely cut. Now, I've just got to see what... Oops, a bit of an avalanche here. Sorry, I'm just grabbing. I do have a printout from an American demonstrator, Connie, here to see what colours I might be using because I'm making a birthday card for my son's birthday, which is in seven days' time. And I thought, eh, I might as well come here with you guys and see what we're playing with so he loves dinosaurs he's turning 14 so i've grabbed out the dino days uh papers and whilst some of these pieces are quite juvenile there are some great b-sides so i'm just seeing what i think he might like i love this b-side but I do wonder if I already, look at this, I already have a scrap of it right here, which is great. 
so ooh, I happen to have two scraps of it so I'll grab both of those out I also love this B side but let me go back and see what what else we have now these uh, dinosaurs here also match the dies which is great but they just cut out the bodies and not the um, not the exoskeletons of the dinosaurs I think I used the right wording there otherwise Mr. Owen will tell me all about it um, that one's nice but I think it's a bit too it's a bit because these are both white backgrounds I think I want something that's not a white background um, I am loving this hatched egg so I'm thinking I might grab that piece out I'm not sure where I'm going what I'm doing I'm just grabbing out some things that appeal to me I really have no idea where I'm going see this this pattern's a bit interesting as well okay grabbed out three pieces of paper oh thank you miss Jamie I've just done a review on the new trimmer I'm in love in love in love in love so I'm thinking this darker one will be great for the background so I do definitely need this arm open because I'm using a 12 by 12 piece of paper and I'm going to cut this I'm going to cut this at a full card front size so this is ten and a half can someone please message Denise and tell her that I'm live and that I can't come on sorry Denise was just trying to chat with me and I can't talk to her because I'm talking to you guys so and then what I need is this one at 14.85 right done so that is that I'm just going to check oh did I just cut that the right way because do I want these going do I want a portrait or a landscape card it doesn't matter this can go both ways and what I am thinking is going I'm so sorry my other computer was updating and now it's chitter chattering with me oh thank you so much Jamie you're amazing hey Renee thanks for joining uh, Oh, doesn't uh, yeah that's better sorry I was just trying to end with the same that's so annoying sorry they're interrupting me left right and center <laughs> they are in so much trouble so much trouble okay I've just got to get a hang of opening this so if I go two centimeters smaller so that's one centimeter two centimeters and I'm also thinking about using some dies with his name on it as well I am a popular girl I really really am <laughs> It's lovely that they want to talk to me, but I'm a bit busy. Okay, and even though that looks fantastic, I do think I will just want a thin piece of cardstock in between the two layers. Just to give it a bit of definition, because, yep. Yeah. Okay, I'm happy with those two pieces, and I'm going to... 
work out color wise what I want to do. So I've got Flirty Flamingo, Lovely Lipstick, Mango Melody, Old Olive. I'm thinking possibly some pool party around this. Let me grab a piece out. I think this is pool party. I'm just going to use it to look and see. I think the pool party around that works really well. So I will grab, okay, Jamie, thank you so much for popping in and saying hi and telling them that I am a bit otherwise occupied. Hopefully they pop on and say hello and apologize to us all. No, they don't need to apologize. They're fine. Now that's a card front. Oh, that's a card base. So that's not helpful. Going through all my scraps to see if I have a piece that will work. Uh, let me see. No, too thin. It looks as though I might just have to cut into a whole piece of cardstock, which is fine. I just always like to check my scraps first. Oh, no problems, doll. Thanks. Okay. Let's see if I can get out just a piece. Seems as though I have a lot of scraps of pool party. Isn't that funny? Should be correct. Oh, see, this is the thing with my pressure. I'm just not, I don't know what it is. There we go. So I've cut, I'm just not... That's a bit rough because I double cut it, but that's okay. That's okay. Right. Oh, oh, oh. I've got to scroll all the way to the bottom. Okay, so. I'm just, sorry, I'm in my train of thought. What I'm thinking is I will adhere these two together straight away. I will see what I mean when I went to pop off this piece of paper. It's just habit, but it's okay. It's okay. Did you get a lot of people at your day, Lorraine? Tell me how you went. So, and I think think I'm going to keep this fairly simple and I might even use the egg in the set in the die set I'll grab out the die set in a second and I'm thinking I want to use not too many sets and I can I'm just Mm -hmm. I'm looking at um, the sentiments and I'm just not sure which ones I'm actually going to use. So you can just see here that my mat is very fine, just enough to give, oh that's perfect, so I'll show you here, it's just enough to define fine and give a difference between the two layers okay oh hey Christy that's good that's fantastic I did do a bit of a review a bit of a review earlier on the stamp and trimmer and I am just making a card currently so I think I want to use the hand lettered pros. Sorry, here, guys. I've just got dies jumping off here. And this is the matching dino dies. So, because he's a T Rex kind of boy, I am thinking of using the T Rex. And maybe the T-Rex can be hatching out of an egg and say, I don't 
really want to say look who hatched I don't know ah yes please do but I'll um I'll I, I had a lovely day 14 oh that's so good Lorraine that's a really good number um we had a lovely world card making day I a couple of people couldn't come at the last minute but I ended up chatting with those people later in the afternoon for world card making day so that was absolutely lovely um just going back to my colors here I think there's a little bit it must be pineapple punch in here I'm thinking of making this dinosaur the uh, pretty peacock which I'm rather obsessed with and you guys are seeing in a lot of my Christmas projects at the moment so yeah okay so this is a photo polymer stamp set which is great for any two-step stamping that you want to do and I am thinking because this is solid I'm going to want to use my Stamparabas because that is going to give me a second bite at the cherry if I want if I don't get the right um, if I don't get the right pressure and coverage of my ink so I'm going to be stamping on Whisper White and I'm just grabbing out a scrap here Just put my magnet there and just put my little dinosaur all the way up here. Great. Okay, let's see how we go. Paper is nicely in there. See how that's not stamping great. Yes, I know Lorraine scraps are the bomb. So I didn't get fantabulous coverage so, oh, I didn't check the paper going back okay this is the good thing uh, about the Stamparatus but I haven't got that's okay that's okay that's okay that's okay right Try it. Do you know what it is as well? I haven't used this stamp before. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stamp this off just on a scrap piece of paper. I'm going to grab, and let me guess, this is totally buried under here. Um, use my stamp chamois, give it a clean, and just start from scratch. Because normally what I do with my stamps is I do give them a pre-stamp or a pre-clean my new ones. But I didn't with this one. So okay. so I can see there's like a belly. There's like a bit of a belly piece. That's so much better. 
see amazing what happens when you do a pre-stamp and then you clean it off and start from scratch that is absolutely perfect very very happy with that right so I'm just going to stamp off again pop that scrap piece of paper where do I put my chamois up here hello Miss Kathleen oh no because it's not a solid stamp Lorraine so it's a bit different because there is I'll show you a close-up there is actually texture to the stamp um, so that works really well with solid stamps but this one's a bit different so I find just a bit of a pre-stamp and then a clean with my chamois is enough for the stamps that aren't solid but yes using your I, I quite often just rub my finger over them to condition them works just as well so we are going to have to if i can open this everyone may laugh have you tried yes i have but i and i do like it i hate the smell kathleen but it works really well on getting pink and red that red staining off things so you can see this one looks still brand new that i haven't used it at all um i'm thinking of picking up some orange because he does like a bit of orange and what's the orange that they've used mango melody of course it's mango melody because that is my favorite orange slash yellow so um i think i can just free stamp this one she says not so confidently okay block close the pretty peacock because we can all already predict what is going to happen oh there we go that was a bit stubborn today uh, mango no that's crushed curry mango melody hello miss denise thank you for interrupting my live i love to know that you're alive love you <laughs> okay put my stamparatus off to the side here we'll do our mango melody I think it's an exoskeleton. I haven't got Owen here. Now, Lorraine, what you were saying was this is totally um, a solid stamp, unlike the dinosaur. So I find just rubbing my finger over it um, actually conditions the top of the stamp and helps the ink um really attach well so you can see that none of that ink is doing any weird pulling on that so i'm going to stamp these right up here and i'm going to be very confident that this stamps perfectly which it did awesome so i'm going to bring over my die cut machine now, should we do a funky coloured egg? Or I could just sponge the air. Hello, Mr. Fort. Lovely to see you. Um, I think I might sponge the egg a bit like they have done here, but I will grab another piece of Whisper White to cut out the egg. Okay. Grab across my die cutting machine here and let's get a cutting. Isn't that the skeleton for the side of the dinosaur? Yes, that's its um this one is its things at the back. I'm thinking that's for that one. Hold on. Where do I put the stamps? Because that one goes with this one. 
and there's a hole for his arm to go through. So there's nothing for the Apatosaurus. No, there's nothing for the Apatosaurus. See, I'm good with my dinosaur names. There's that one for the T-Rex, or maybe that's an Apatosaurus. I don't know. Owen isn't, Owen isn't here to tell me all the dinosaur names. He's out on a lovely walk because it's a beautiful day here after some rain yesterday. So this is meant to have this big lip at the bottom to adhere under the dinosaur. So I'm just lining up all those scales. I'm just going to pop that out a bit. And then I'm going to get the die for the T-Rex. And the nice thing about these new dies is they fit. The lining up is really easy because it's pretty much flush with your stamped edge done. Where do I put my other plate though? It's over here. I know I had to do the dino days. Oh dear, I've missed lots of comments, guys. Hang on. Okay, right. Up to date, not a problem. I thought, oh my god, what have I missed? So sandwich this down. Uh, run it through. And that's one scrap gone because I'm not going to keep the other scrap where I misstamped the dinosaur. Oh, that moved. No, that's okay. I will re-stamp. It moved. Boo. Okay. So I have the perfect, except my sleeve's getting caught here. I have the perfect one here. Boo hiss. Boo hiss. And we just kind of make it work. Sorry if I'm off camera here. Okay, that one is stamped perfectly again. I can't believe it moved. How rude of it. But anyway. I do have heaps of white paper, so that is not going to be an issue. Okay, what I'm going to do while I have this correct, I'm going to whack this through. A few more passes than what I'd like, but that's okay. I'm thinking the I love you this much, it's more than it looks, is still going to work for the birthday card. So you can see that piece as well. That can go in the bin, the die back on the sheet. And I'm just going to get the bottom part of the egg. I'm just trying to work. See, he's not born. He's turning 14, so I don't know how much the look who's hatched is actually going to work for a birthday card but i would love some feedback on how to get these sentiments to work because i i would love to put his name on the card because he's got only four letters in his name it works really really well that i can do that Okay, crank, 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 crank. Okay, right. So, let's get... Oh, I'm too scared that this has opened. Please help me with the sentiments. Um, I just want to now clean this. Now, I can't remember who was asking about the cleaner, 
the other stamp cleaner, but it is fantastic about removing staining from the photopolymer stamps. Now this actually has a slight pink staining. So I will actually show you exactly how it works. So I have cleaned it, it is clean, and this is called the stamp cleaning pad. Don't breathe too deeply. You can see I've already removed a fair bit of staining. So you just pounce it. I know you're not going to be able to see the faint pink staining. Pop the lid back on and mine is super juicy. And they do say remove the cleaner. So I just remove it on here, clean it on here, and I have removed that pink staining that just let me put it on white yeah i have removed that pink staining that was on there and i've done it with older stamps as well i have removed a fair bit of um pink staining from it but it's i know it's a bit like stays on cleaner um it will you do need to remove it from your photopolymer surface okay so that is that's my bad one that needs to go in the bin so what I am going to do here I'm going to put my dinosaur together and I'm going to endeavor I'm so glad Jamie's not here hey guys I still need your help with the sentiments I'd love to see some suggestions coming in so I'm just going to use some teeny tiny dots of adhesive here. And then I'm going to endeavor to line this up just like so haha <laughs> look at that perfect and you can see now he's a he's gone from friendly to fierce do I want him on top of the egg or under the egg okay I have to start putting some things away my avalanche is getting fairly bad here. Okay, trimmer away because we don't want to drop that, although I will need to use it again. think I will use this paper but I'll just put my other bitty bobs away so what I generally do on one side of my paper I keep all my off cuts and I keep the full pieces of paper on the other side so then I always check what I've got on my off cuts like I do with my paper scraps I always check what I have there first. So I do have this piece that I could, oh, I could cut Owen's name out of this. That would be really cool. Okay, so let's go back here. Because I will need, because if I put his name down there, this pushes this up here. Are we too busy? Do I need like vellum? Haha, <laughs> are you surprised I suggested that? Okay, I need my sponges. And I need to find a yellow one if I have a yellowy orange one, I think. That one's good. 
and grab my pineapple punch. Can you guys still see me? Just because all the comments have kind of stopped. And I just put the back of my hand in this ink pad, which is kind of sort of not helpful. Oh, that looks better. Yes, awesome. Thank you, Renee. Ah, oh, see, that looks better already. Better already, and I've just got to get some hand sanitizer. Otherwise, I'm going to put the back of my hand in something that I don't want it to. Yay! Thank you. No, no, no. That's fine. That's fine, Kathy. I just wanted to make sure because you all suddenly went quiet at the same time. <laughs> I love your level of focus if there's a tiny bit of chatting. Okay. So. Um... I am thinking kind of sort of that I maybe just put a number on the front with the family party stamp set and maybe just put a 14 here. And maybe put happy 14th and then have his name Owen. I think that works better, even though I love the sentiments in here, I don't think I can quite get them to work for me. Sorry, I just need to have some water here. Mm. Okay, blocks, 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 I need blocks. Sorry for making a ruckus here. Uh, okay. Let's see what we can do here. At least you're seeing my process. I do like showing you my process and how I actually... Thank you. Yay, Joanne. I'm so happy about that. Yes, the dinosaur is so cute, Kathy. Okay, put a one on here. Put a four. David Owen's definitely turning 14. He's not listening to me. Yes, he's definitely turning 14. And I've got a little up here. Uh, a little foot up here if I can grab it off I've also got a st and I've got a happy I might grab these smaller blocks okay This piece of terracotta tile that we were using earlier can go away. Okay, I'm feeling a bit more organized, which is great. Thank you for sharing. Great. So, my question is are we losing this dinosaur against the busy pattern? Or does it work? That's my only question at the moment. Just something for you to get back to me about. I've just got to decide on colours. Um, he might kill me if I use the like flirty flamingo, but it'll work really well. I can pick up some old olive. Okay, let's. 
let's go with some old olive and hope to god i don't stuff this it works okay cool i'm not sure what you mean by the skeleton deborah because there's no skeleton in this set that was the last dinosaur set that we had This is the set, the current set in our catalogue. Now, I don't need to get these straight because this is a bit of a haphazardy kind of card. So I'm not aiming for perfection. Actually, not too bad. I don't know why I put the th on such a big block, but oh, perfect stamping. Okay. Oh, I'm so happy. Sorry. Get a little bit excited easily. I'm thinking we can start repeating some colors. So, or no, I'll bring in, I think I'm going to be using like all the colours. So I'll bring in some lovely lipstick. Hey Pam, thanks for joining. I find my eyes drawn to the background first. Okay, I am going to be popping it on some dimensionals, but thank you for that, Shireen. Okay, now you're not going to, because I'm using this one, I'm definitely going to stamp off first, and that is stamping beautifully. Sorry, there's a bit of wind here today, just, ha, oh, yes, amazing. And I'm thinking birthday at the bottom, also in the red. Now, where's birthday on this set? Uh, it is. Helps if I look at it. Oh, see, birthday is big. I wonder if I can make it work. Yeah, I think I was always going to pop it on dimensional. So you will see the difference. Hold on. I'll just take the fur off and pop that on one of the other blocks and pick up the birthday. I can make the birthday work and I think I will just rub it. Oh, helpful when I don't rub it off completely. And I love, especially for my kids or if I, my kids are going to someone's birthday party, I do like if their name isn't too long to personalise the card. I just got some ink up on that corner. So I made sure to remove it just so I don't get any colour anywhere where it shouldn't be. amazing so 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 happy with that now because this is a red ink actually i will use the remover and show you exactly how well that works okay now what color oh no we're going to do that pattern for his name sorry just moving stuff out of my way okay these can all go over here and I will clean those my sponges can go back over here right now let's find all of his letters on here so we've got the O I've got the E because I use the E and the Yes, that oh, I better put the apostrophe back, otherwise I will lose it. There's the E. I love this set because it's 
Now, which one's the N? Thinking this one's the N with the thicker stroke down. And that one's a U. I just need the W. W is here. Awesome. O W E N. I'm loving how this card's coming together, guys. I can't tell you. Oh. Okay, I'll grab down my trimmer again and just cut some of this paper. It's really odd um, actually picking up the trimmer differently. It's weird. Sorry, I'm just getting used to it. So if I cut that at three and a half centimeters that gives me plenty to work with so three and a half beautiful cuts just like butter Great. And I like having the um, measurements in the middle because I can make sure I've actually put in my paper straight. You know how I said I was popular before? Now I'm getting messages from other people, but they don't interrupt this. <laughs> Right, thank you so much for sharing, uh, Julie. I appreciate that. But it's never a prerequisite. And I'm so glad I can make this while Owen isn't here. So I can cut these all together and it doesn't really matter if they match. And if these don't work, I'm hoping they will, I'm hoping the pattern will work really well uh, because these will be difficult to pop up. Thank you, Renee. Okay. I am, though, just making sure they're upright, if that makes sense, because the pattern... Look, I'm just hoping this pattern works, seriously, because... Patterns are different when they're cut out into these smaller pieces. Okay. Mm, where's my take your pick tool? This is where you need it. Just to lift these up. Because this will pick up all those colours that we have used. Which will be fantastic. Good. Do, 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 do. Um, yeah, mm, I think it would have to be pretty peacock because that's the background but i'm reserving judgment o w is the e still in there and the n oh now where the hell did the e go it's on the ground it's okay i found it okay I found the E. Whew. Thank God. And these dies must go back straight away because we don't want any of them lost because the other week or the other month I lost a whole with sympathy stamp. It's gone. Haven't found it. Just gone. Don't know where it ended up. Which is really annoying because it came out of a huge stamp set. Hello, Miss Tanya. Okay. 
Okay, so all the dies are safely back on the sheet. Let's see how this all layers up to if I need to put a layer underneath, which I suspect you may be right, Deborah, that this needs to go on a strip, but maybe not. Mm, I think you might be right because the patterns are kind of competing against each other. But I don't really want to. I'll talk about the name just fitting. I'm just going to grab down a strip of vellum to see if that makes a difference because I don't really want to um, cover up that beautiful pattern paper. Hmm, that's too wide. Let's see what we've got this side. Would you believe I don't even have a scrap of vellum wide enough? Okay, it looks like we are cutting down some vellum, so I will show you the trimmer with our vellum. Now, I said three and a half centimetres was a good width, so that may work. So just let me cut off one end here, so we've got flat and to work with now what width so we went eight and a half so eight and a half centimeters and then I've covered my bin as per normal so I will show you exactly where these group these um, lips it sounds terrible me saying that come in so because we've got a thinner piece and it doesn't exactly bridge this part you've got these bits that it sits flush up against so I'm going to leave that there lock in the arm and I don't even need to secure the paper because you do have those ridges um, that are protruding, which is great. I could do that as well, Joanne. That's probably my next thing if this part doesn't work. Hey, Mimi, thanks for joining. Haven't seen you in a while. Okay, I'll just pop the trimmer over here and hopefully it doesn't do any keys. But I'm thinking you might be right. However much I wanted to use that pattern, I'm not sure it's going to work. But I've got to try. Uh, actually, I'm thinking maybe three centimetres for this. I'll come back in and cut it again. So here we go, here's the test. I'm cutting off half a centimetre. Take this arm, lock it in. That, oh no, I didn't cut it all the way down, but it hasn't moved. Oh. That did just, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Three centimetres on the nose. Okay. Done. Done, done, done. Besides, that was my mistake there. Perfect there. 
I always find vellum just dulls the background. So I'm going to leave this here and let you guys tell me what you think. Because I think this may actually work. While I connect together and put dimensionals on my dinosaur. Obviously the placement isn't perfect. I'm more looking about how it um, how it mm, you know what I'm saying how it pops. So tell me what you think while I do my little dinosaur friend here. I am willing to do them in Pretty Peacock. Okay, so. Okay. Like the placement of my dinosaur there. Flick him over, grab some dimensionals, grab my lever scissors here. In the first place I'm going to put the dimensionals is over this join so he doesn't wiggle away. But I am thinking... Um, Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's okay, Mimi. Totally understand. That's great that you're able to help them out. Okay. I So, do we have any thoughts on the name? Do I leave it in that paper or do I just go for the uh, Pretty Peacock paper. Yeah. Okay, cool. Look, I tried it. It's all good. Okay. At least you saw some vellum cut, so just let me grab these letters again. O, W, and which is the U and which was the N that was the U where did I put the N N is there do you think I could see it? no right a scrap of pretty peacock. We will get here. We're almost there, girls. Thank you for your patience. Okay, scrap of pretty peacock. <sighs> Dinosaurs can go up there. Oh, that looks so much better with the shadow underneath now with that dinosaur. Even though he's not stuck down, you can see that. Die cutting machine. Right. So, what did you guys think of what I showed you earlier? All those that have popped in of the trimmer. As I said, there is no release date yet for customers, but I predict it will be hopefully before the end of the year or early in the new year. Okay, there we go. <laughs> well, and the funny thing is that piece of the hatched um, pattern paper is the full card size. And I normally don't do cards like that with the full card size. I normally leave a lip 
So I am doing a couple of things differently and out of my comfort zone. So I like to spice it up sometimes. Right. That is there. Take off this bit for the rubbish. The blades will have a longer life. Um, I think part of the issue with the other blades was that they weren't sharpened correctly. Um, as I said, these ones just have, from straight up comparing a brand new blade to a brand new blade, uh, these ones sound and feel sharper straight up. Hello, Miss Diane, long time no speak. Haha. -ha. Okay, right, all our levers are done. I'm confident that they will work well. And okay, put all these dies back on, otherwise I will lose them. Although I saw someone post that they had a die on the inside of their slipper this morning. I laughed because that's pretty funny. And she found walking a, um, a bit difficult. It was a bit uncomfortable. Now, I am still thinking I wouldn't mind using this piece of vellum. Because, you know, a card isn't complete or isn't very Ellen unless we use some vellum. And no, I didn't mean to rhyme that, but hey, it rhymes. Ah, this works so much better. Yep, absolutely. Now, how am I going to adhere these? Because I can't use wet glue on vellum. So I'm going to use my silicon mat and my snail. And just see how we go. Okay. Oh. Because I can always use my adhesive remover. One, two, three. W, although now I sort of want to angle that O to match the angle on the W because that's a bit upright. Good thing about the snail, I haven't really burnished it down yet. some of that adhesive E and then N uh, yes I haven't used vellum in a while I think I might have been going through withdrawals from using vellum And I've realised I actually need to refill my pack of vellum. It's um, on my desk. It's actually a bit sad. It doesn't have too much left in it. Okay. So what I will then do, I'll put this face down. So you can see this hasn't adhered fantastically yet. But I will just go through and burnish the back perfect lovely so then if I feel actually there's not any tackable adhesive so that's really good now 
the back. <sighs> I'm thinking I may just have to use teeny tiny dots. Now I mean really teeny tiny because I don't want this to buckle at all. Because the more wet glue you use on vellum, the more you risk it buckling. So. Okay. Oh, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Love that. I know I haven't got a card base yet, but I just need to do this. Just the more less bits I've got on my desk, the less likely I am to lose the bits I've already got prepared. Hello, Miss Jody. It's been eons. Just finishing up a birthday card for obviously Owen. It's not his birthday till next weekend, but while he's not in the house because it's school holidays, it's a good time to make it because then he doesn't walk in and see his card. And I thought, well, I made Lachlan's card with you guys a few months ago, so I might as well share Owen's card with you. Okay, uh, right. And somewhat center this. A bit hard with this pattern paper to center. Very happy with that. Thanks, I do love this um, dino. Is it called dino? Dino Raw Paper. So it's the Dino Days stamp set. Dino Raw Paper. And the Dino Dies. It's all very much a mouthful. Can we finish with that now? Line this up here. And I'm just thinking. Because the one paper I haven't tried is the thick whisper white paper so let's cut a thick whisper white card base and that will finish our card i don't know if i'll pop anything on the inside i will have to i'll have to ponder that one i think Sorry about this being a bit of a long video, but it's the way I always wonder when I pick up thick whisper white if I've got one or two pieces of paper. So I'm going to score and this is where I'm relearning how I go. Oh, yeah. cutting blade to the top and I found when I was scoring I really only need one pass but I do just like doing two out of habit and I don't know if you can see how fine that score is it is a great alphabet uh, alphabet Jody it's the hand lettered pros and i used it for the first time yesterday actually but i can't show you that card because it's actually for someone and i don't want them to see it on the video okay that like butter again I have found, though, that if you're not careful, the blades do pop out um, of the 
the little opening where you can take them out just here. Um, all lower Jody. Just while I pop this away, pop this back in its home, I will bring across the die set. So that's the die set, Jody. So I call it all lowercase, but obviously W's and stuff like that can be uppercase as well. Oh my God, that, that scoring blade, fantastic. I had no issues, um, no issues at all. And I cut and scored that square. That never happens never ever happens okay so because i created a full card front of the um, dino raw paper i'm just putting the glue directly on the front and then i will pop the card front on here and then i'm not mucking around with too much glue around the place now, I am tempted as a final touch. I know it doesn't need it, but these are the enamel shapes that coordinate with the set. It's so tempting, but it really doesn't need it. Although the only place I'd possibly put something is there and there. So we have lovely lipstick, old olive, and a uh, pretty peacock. But I can't see where I'd put anything truly. I really don't think it works. But these are the coordinating ones. I'm going to pop them away. Sorry, I keep on getting messenger phone calls, which I can't turn off. I know, I'm really happy as well, Joanne. Really, really happy. My pleasure, Kathy. I am just going to pull in everything that I have used, just so you can have a look. So we've got the paper. We've got these i'll put these back on so i don't lose them so we've got the hand lettered pros and the dino dies we've got the card and i also used the family party stamp set for the happy 14th birthday so that is basically what i've used today The heart on the dino's chest. There is no heart. They're actually, um, they're like the ecto scale on the back. So I don't have a heart embellishment. I don't even know if I have a heart stamp, Jodie, to tell you the truth. Um, I'm having a look at my stamps up here. I don't think I have a heart anymore. How sad is that? I loved having a little heart, but I really don't think I do. No, but look, I'm really happy with that as it is. I think he will love it as well. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, not sure when I'll be back. It definitely won't be tomorrow, even though it's a public holiday here in Australia because I'm having lunch with my parents. So, no, 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 they're just little triangles, Jody. But yeah, that would look, if that was a heart, it would absolutely look adorable. Um, and if you want to have a look, sorry, I just realised all the stamp sets are sitting here, are the colours, the ink pads that I used. So, yeah, no, my pleasure, guys. Look, I will endeavour to be 
uh, back on Tuesday, so my normal day for going live, because uh, I do have, uh, I have the kids home, but um, they're pretty good. They can give me some time. They may even join me. I may ask if they want to do some stamping with me. That would be maybe fun. Maybe, maybe. Okay, guys, you have an amazing end to your world card making day. And don't forget, next week is world card sending week. So um, if you send any cards, please tell me so I can report them. Because Stampin' Up! wants to send 50,000 cards worldwide and send some love that isn't bills into people's letterboxes so i know i've got a big pile to send beside me and i will enjoy that immensely um hearing from the people that receive them thank you so much for joining me and i will catch you on tuesday bye